As shown in my last video, I traveled to Egypt to work with Safwat and the Egyptian Davis Cup team. I was here for nine days and we had really intense days. The daily schedule consisted of fitness from 9 to 11, followed by tennis from 11 to 1, after lunch again tennis from 3.30 to 5, followed by another fitness session from 5 to around 6.30. Of course this included regenerative units as well. El Guna was spoiling us with perfect weather. I didn't see a cloud throughout my stay here. Usually it is a bit windy here, especially at this time of the year, but even the wind was treating us kindly. The longer I stayed here, the more comfortable I felt at this place. The marina area with its restaurant, little beaches and of course ships and boats is very inviting and the quality of the sea water is surprisingly well. To get around you can take a tuk-tuk, the distances are overseeable and the prices for a ride with around 2 euros very cheap. In general the place is very relaxing and quiet, so you can really find inner peace here if you are looking for it. And from time to time we all need it, right? But we had to train here as well. Therefore, the time for inner balance was a rare treasure. The quality of the clay courts was surprisingly well. For Egyptian standards, it was actually very good. The small club has hard courts as well, but we were preparing only on clay court. Safwat was leading his team in a good way and with his work ethic he was showing the younger players in the team how to stretch the limits. And all of them were getting to their limits. There was a good atmosphere in the team and some jokes were helping to get through the tougher moments. In the morning we did mostly drills and a lot of hitting. In the afternoon a lot of serves and return and some double exercises as well. Michael, Ferris, Ali and Akram were, together with Karim and Mohamed leading them, a balanced team and hopefully they will be able to succeed on the upcoming Davis Cup tie in February. For Karim Mamoun it could be the last year as a player in his team and he would like to say goodbye in a good way. Mohamed Safwat will start with his tournaments after the Davis Cup and to go through the challenger qualies and winning matches in the main draw to improve the ranking will be a task. The ATP was changing the ATP point allocation for challengers this year, so it is even more difficult now to improve the ranking. If you are not making the final in these tournaments, it will be a long way up. The other players from the team will return to the futures, so their way is even longer, but that's the reality for all players. As far as I'm concerned, I will return to Vienna. Yuri will finalize his preseason and is going to start with a challenger. Sebastian will finish his fitness block and the focus will shift to the tennis part. He will have some more weeks to practice since we see several aspects we would like to improve. Dennis will practice as well and a new face arrived to Vienna. More from that in my next video. I hope to see you there again.